Agent, uh, we need a good demo. We need a good demo. Uh, you know, you need to keep working, doing plays, independent films, as they say, the good agent. And strong references, I find, are very important in this business as far as, like, uh, you know, the references to the agents, the references to the casting directors. And sometimes the way to go can be knowing that being with a good acting coach who, who, who serves as a strong reference. Uh, moving out to L.A. and surviving out to L.A. and trying to earn a living, make it they want to call it, making a living out there. I mean, I guess you can do it in New York as well, but it claims there's more work in L.A., so to speak. Coming into New York is coming into a place of excitement. And event. Being in New York, Manhattan's like, man, this is, and, and, and I, this, this Times Square area really oh, always turns me on. I mean... The Broadway shows and the crowds and stuff still turns me on quite a bit. I really, I really like it. And maybe because of my my lot, my excitement for adventure has turned me into has turned me on to the the enjoyment of the excitement of acting or the intrigue of the excitement or the intrigue of the lights and the cameras and all that crap. I'm gonna follow up because there's always uh, ten guys who look like every regular guy, every good-looking guy, every plain guy, every. Like you know, every character guy, and really, there's a strong consideration about potentially moving out to LA. Then I gotta say that, sending to casting directors and agents every month and all that stuff for them to call you in for the the audition and earn money along the way, trying to earn a living along the yeah. way. And, you know, they want you on the set at six a.m. and they don't want to hear that. Well, you get off at seven a.m. with the other job. You know, I, mean, I love acting. I mean, well, it's what you know. We're talking about Maria Bello. And that's, I guess, uh, you know, my closest claim to fame. And, uh, yeah, Maria Bello, she was a pretty girl. And obviously she has become very successful. So, Maria, if you can see me, if you can hear me, if you can reach out and touch, grab me by my hair and say, John, I have a part. Even if it's a small part that's going to give me my sad part, I'm going to put you in my next movie. Please, Maria, I appreciate that. But the movie raised in a town called Jersey City. And uh, a lot of memories. And now I live in Bayonne, amazingly, eight years right now. In my, you know, and I've incurred some debt again in my life, which I hope to get out of. I have a full time. At least more acting opportunity has come my way, and I intend to take full advantage of it. And, be good to the people around me who give me that chance and we'll see how things go as they say we'll see how things go mm -hmm. so America runs on Duncan okay uh, congratulations Maria on your success all of your success that that's the idea to do good, entertaining work so people get caught in it, they feel it, they believe they were there at one time, and they say, hey, that's good act, that's, this is what life is all about. Reenacting life with true emotion, happy, mad, sad, glad. This is life, our everyday emotions. I gotta believe within a couple of years, I can have the courage to uh, make the move and go out there and survive out there the way I'm surviving out here. I never go on to shy away from work. Do my job, do as hard as I can, do as well as I can, and get paid for it. Because what you're going to do is glow. Go, go, go believing that at least that one good role is going to come along if nothing else before I die. That one good role will come along if nothing else. <laughs>